students uh, today we'll do question number four and five of exercise 2.1 so let's see what is there in question number four a rectangular sheet of paper is 12 1 by 2 centimeter long the length is given and 10 2 by 3 centimeter wide that is this is the breadth is given okay now you have to find its perimeter now what is the shape of the paper it is a rectangular sheet so see i've drawn one rectangular shape is a rectangular sheet the length is given as 12 1 by 2 centimeter and the width is given 10 2 by 3 centimeter now you have to find the perimeter now you we know that the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 inside the bracket length plus spread isn't it this is the formula so what i've written is see the first thing that i've done is i've converted this mixed fraction form to improper form okay that is length is equals to 12 1 by 2 centimeter that would be 2 12 is 24 24 plus 1 25 so 25 by 2 centimeter breadth is equals to 10 2 by 3 centimeter that is 3 10 is 30 plus 2 32 so 32 by 3 centimeter now we'll get the we'll use the formula of perimeter of a rectangle now what is it so perimeter of rectang rectangle is equals to 2 inside the bracket length plus breadth now put the value of length what is it length value is 25 by 2 so we'll put the value 25 by 2 plus what is the breadth 32 by 3 now you know that we have to get the lcm of 2 and 3 that would be 6 now if you divide 6 with 2 the answer is 3 so 3 into 25 see i've written plus if you divide 6 with 3 the answer is 2 so 2 into 32 now 2 into inside the bracket 25 into 3 is 75 plus 32 into 2 is 64 by 6 now if you add 75 plus 64 you will get 139 on 6 okay now you reduce it 2 1s are 2 2 3s are 6 so the answer is 1 3 9 by 3 now you have to convert this into the mixed fraction form so that you can get you'll get the final answer as 46 1 by 3 centimeter okay so this is the perimeter of a rectangle so i hope it's just very very easy okay now let's move on to question number five now question number five is very interesting you see and it's very important also now find the perimeter see one figure is given which is a combination of a triangle and a rectangle you see this is a triangle abc and a rectangle b c d e okay so it is a, the whole figure is a combination of the two figures now what they have asked you see find the perimeter of a triangle ab that means you have to find the perimeter of this okay then perimeter of a rectangular you have to also find the perimeter of this rectangle and at last you have to compare whose perimeter is greater that is triangle or rectangle okay now what i've done is that i have splitted this whole figure into two parts that is one part i've considered as triangle and another part i've taken as rectangle okay individually i have found the perimeter of these two figures okay now let's begin with the triangle part now see abc now I've drawn it separately. So ABC. Now AB is given 5, 5 by 2 centimeter. BC is given 2, 3 by 4 centimeter. And AC is given 3, 3 by 5 centimeter. Now you have to get the perimeter. Now what is the uh, definition of perimeter? Perimeter means sum of all sides. So you have to add all those sides. That is all values. Okay. Now the first one is given is what? 5 by 2 plus 3, 3 by 5 plus 2, 3 by 4. So what the first thing you have to do? The first thing you have to convert the mixed fraction form to improper form that is 5 3 is a 15 plus 3 18 by 5 4 2 is a 8 plus 1 11 by 4 so see we, these are the final fractions now you have to get the lcm so 2 5 and 4 lcm is 20 now if you divide 20 with 2 you will get 10 so 10 5 is a 50 if you divide 20 divided by 5 the answer is 4 so 4 into 18 is 72 and if you divide 20 by 4 you will get 5 as an answer the so 5 into 11 is 55 so after adding this is a required sum that is 177 by 20 centimeter so this is the perimeter of a triangle now let's see what is the perimeter of a rectangle now the length is given that is be value is given 2 3 by 4 centimeter ed is given 7 by 6 centimeter now we'll again use the formula 
that is perimeter equals to 2 into inside the bracket length plus breadth in place of length we'll put the value that is 2 3 by 4 plus breadth value is what 7 by 6 convert this mixed fraction form 4 to side plus 3 11 by 4 plus 7 by 6 2 will remain as constant outside the bracket so 2 into will take the LCM of 4 and 6 that would be 12 now 12 divided by 4 is what 3 so 3 into 11 is 33 plus 2 divided by 6 is what 2 so 2 into 7 is 14 now add this 33 plus 14 the required sum is 47 by 12 now reduce this 2 ones are 2 2 6 are 12 so 47 by 6 is the perimeter of a rectangle so we are done with question number one that is the perimeter of a triangle this is the answer the perimeter of a rectangle so this is the answer now the last part is that you have to compare whose perimeter is greater so see in both the cases there is a required fraction and even the denominators are not same okay so what we have to do we have to make the denominator so that we can understand whose perimeter is larger or greater so let's go to the last part of the sum now <clears throat> so this was the perimeter of a triangle and this is the perimeter of a, a rectangle okay now to make this denominator same what we have to do we have learned earlier also so we have to get the lcm of 20 and 6 so lcm of 20 and 6 is what 60 now we have to make the denominator as what 60 now the first thing you will do we will write this fraction that is 177 by 20 now when you divide 60 by 20 you get answer as 3 so you have to multiply 3 with both the numerator and the denominator so after multiplying you will get 531 upon 60 now the second fraction 47 by 6 if you divide 60 by 6 what is the answer you will get 10 so 10 you have to multiply with both the numerator and the denominator so 4 into 10 is what 470 and 6 into 10 is 60 now you see the both the numerators are become 60 now it is easier to compare now 531 is greater or 470 obviously 531 so this fraction is more than this fraction so we will write in this way only so 531 is greater than 60 uh, 531 by 60 is greater than 470 by 60 okay but 531 is originally this one isn't it so 177 by 20 is greater than 47 by 6 so 177 by 20 is what perimeter of a triangle so perimeter of a triangle is greater than the perimeter of a rectangle okay so this is the final conclusion of question number five so today we will only do two sums that is four and five do submit your work in google classroom okay thank you and take care